It's been voted as Cornwall's favourite pasty maker and is well known for its delicious treats. That's Warren's Bakery. You'll be pleased to know that Bristol now has its very own Warren's Bakery and that's here just at the top of Core Street and I'll be finding out if they really do make a good Cornish pasty. Um, this is Warren's Bakery, um, it's a Cornish company so they, we've just arrived in Bristol now about four weeks ago um, and we're hoping to bring many more around this area so it's the first one in the kind of Bristol area. We obviously do the amazing Cornish pasty. Uh, we do lots of other flavoured pasties as well, um, including vegetarian and cheese pasties. Um, we do paninis, baguettes um, and sandwiches. And then we do lots of, um, lots of different cakes and donuts that we finish off here in, in Bristol. Yeah, they're going really well. And the Cornish pasty um, itself, the traditional one, is the most popular. Um, everyone seems to be very excited in Bristol coming in and, and finding that we have got proper Cornish pasties here for sale. Definitely, um, it's, it's brilliant and it's, we do the mixed Cornish pasty here and it's, it's just fantastic. Back in the day the pasty was the advent of Cornish mining in the 19th century and is what's made it an important part of life of so many Cornish families. Pasties were taken down the mines by the adults and children who worked there. The shape and size made them ideal for carrying. It is thought that the miners gave the pasty its distinctive D-shape too. The crust became a handle which was discarded to prevent contaminating the food with grubby hands. Others might dispute this, arguing that miners ate their pasties wrapped in paper bags so that they could enjoy every last bit as we do today. Warren's is actually based in Cornwall and it was the Cornish people who voted in four independent newspaper and radio polls and said that Warren's was their favourite bakery for a good old Cornish pasty. Now, I'm actually from Cornwall and have had my fair share of pasties. A lot of locals would say it isn't a real pasty unless it's made in Cornwall. So, are these ones real? No, that's definitely right. It's not a Cornish pasty unless it's made in Cornwall. So our pasties are made in our main bakery in Cornwall and transferred up to us where we would then bake them off in store. So um, we, for our traditional pasty, um, it contains uh, steak, um, potato, onion, and sweet. Um, that's all that you get in, in a traditional Cornish pasty. Um, then obviously you've got the pastry which is then crimped around the edge and then baked. Um, it probably is the pasties to be fair. Um, as I said, you know, there isn't really anywhere that does the fantastic Cornish pasties so it's nice for them to be able to see and so many people come in saying that they've been to Cornwall and um, been to a Warren's and it's great to see it here. So. There's loads of bakeries here in Bristol but it was the people of Cornwall who voted Warren's as their favourite bakery for a Cornish pasty but I'll leave that up for you to decide.